Today I got these wheel spacers in for my truck. I'm gonna take these things out, check them out and get them on it. So the only thing in this box was this sticker on top of these spacers that were all cellophane together. And then it comes with one, two hub centric spacers and one, two non hub centric, which would be lug centric. So two lug centric, which go in the rear and two hub centric, which go in the front. That is what I was told I need for my 2020 Chevrolet 2500 HD. All right, so here is my rear hub. There's the spacer. And on this 2020, it seems like these studs are fine for a two inch spacer. I can put the spacer on there and the studs don't stick out. It did say torque based upon your truck specification, but don't torque more than 110 foot pounds. So I'm gonna go get my torque wrench and get this spacer installed. All right, and there it is. But I am gonna add a little bit of a disclaimer on this. So I'm not a big fan of wheel spacers. I never really have been. I'd rather have a one piece wheel and not mess with it. But at the same time, I really am not a big fan of most of the heavy duty wheels that I have found that are eight lug. So I wanna keep my factory wheels, but I do need to push them away from the frame a little bit. So really my only solution right now is either new wheels or spacers. So I'm gonna try spacers out, see how well they do, make sure I don't get any vibration or anything like that. And if they're good, you know, I'll give an update on them later. But for now, this is what I'm gonna go with. Anyways, that was my disclaimer. I don't have to put new studs in or anything. They fit just fine with two inch spacers. Now, if you went with a smaller spacer, you might run into some problems, but with two inches, it seems to be fine. I've got them all lugged down to 110 pounds. That's the maximum specification for the spacers. So from what I can find, GM recommends 140 foot pounds for the torque on the lug nuts. I'm gonna stick with 110 for now because that's what the spacer manufacturer recommends, but maybe later I will go to 140, I'm not sure. All right, so now that this spacer's on, let's look at what it's done. So if I come here and look at the side profile on my truck, these extend defenders stick out about two extra inches. And as you can see, the tire fits almost perfectly under the extend defenders. I push this tire out two inches. Now let's go look at the other side that I haven't pushed out yet. All right, so now this is the other side of the truck with no spacers yet. And as you can see, I'm not even at the full profile of the truck yet. And the tires are not sticking out very far. So. You can kind of see as I come across here, they are in, well, two inches. So these fender flares stick out two inches past the tire. And let me show you why I put these spacers on. So as you can see here, if you turn the tire rubs right here and the tire rubs right there. Now that's if you turn really sharp, which I don't do all that much, but it happens. But even if you don't turn real sharp, what you'll notice here is, I don't know if you can tell, but this wheel liner, doesn't sit against the frame anymore. It just starts rubbing up against the tire and then it kind of folds it out and now it sticks out. So I'm also going to come over here and I'm going to cut this wheel liner probably down to here and just get all of this right here out because I don't want that rubbing on the tire anymore. Of course, putting the spacers on should help eliminate a lot of that, but still I don't want to have that rubbing. And then of course it rubs up here just a little bit. You can see it's wet, but it actually rubs in that area a little bit. So I'm probably gonna have to trim some of that up, but that's just excess anyways. And I got another bumper coming. All right, so let's look at it now that we have the spacers installed. You can see that, I mean, they line up almost perfect with these fender flares. So before they were inside and now they're sticking out, it has really given the truck a nice stance that fits really well with these fender flares. So, yeah, I like them. They really, really make the truck look good. I really like the new stance. All right, well, let me know what you think. If this video was helpful, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, if you'd subscribe to the channel, that really helps me out. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. Y'all take care.